And we got uh, Coinbase. So maybe we start with Coinbase here as uh, markets are trying to firm up a little bit. Bitcoin's trying to go back positive. What's going on? It is a time to So this name is actually is like the most interesting, I'd say, from like a chart perspective, because we're up 330% over the last 12 months. Now, since then, we've pulled back about 17% from high. So we're not seeing the same like exuberance that it was once, I think, carrying a name like Coinbase, especially following the ETF approvals. But nonetheless, B of A did raise their price target to 259 from 217 with a neutral rating after the company did hold its State of Crypto Summit in 2024 with presentations by various experts in the industry and early cryptocurrency adopters in the space, including their founder and CEO, Brian Armstrong. But the firm did highlight that topics included blockchain use cases and innovation and the role of crypto and overall investor portfolios, as well as the very positively changing regulatory environment. They did say that as a result of this, they raised their price objective driven by what they've seen is this increase in transaction based revenue. I would hope so, because I mean, like if you're not able to see a, an increase in transaction based revenue, I'd say, like, what is your business model at this point? But I will say ETF approval, positive catalyst for Coinbase. That doesn't necessarily though mean that like this is always going to be the same degree of like strength we see in crypto as we have as of late. So I'm cautiously always a skeptic in this space just because you're still in a environment where regulation is I think still kind of hitting a name like Coinbase. They have still have like major, major SEC hurdles they do. to pass. Yeah, uh, and I think that's kind of why it keeps getting stuck anytime it tries to get too far mm -hmm. uh, down about two and a half percent here this morning, a little bit more than that. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Ducat, uh, chart uh, on this has been uh, pretty wild. I mean, uh, it's uh, moved with Bitcoin and then uh, it kind of kicked in really again uh, just uh, here you know, in the last couple of weeks, kind of moving back up towards that 250 bucks. Yeah, and Jenny was right. It is an interesting chart here because we have these surges to the upside here that have, uh, you know, given us some very strong growth here. We're up 342% off our yearly intraday lows here. However, now we're down about 16% off these highs that we established right here. And price is looking like it's perhaps a little more triangular here. We've got a downward sloping trend line competing with an upward sloping trend line here. Price is... Uh, falling below our yellow 21 day exponential moving average today here. So giving up this important metric of support here. The moving average itself is also starting to slope downward here. So that's an early warning sign of potential trend change. To the downside, we've got our orange 63 day EMA quite close to our trend line. So that could be a supportive area that comes in near 226 or so. Another thing to consider is when we look at RSI, our measure of momentum, we have a short term trend line there in green. The trend line has been broken. We're slipping below that 50 midline today. We're, we're, well, actually, I, I misspoke. We're just a hair above it here. We're basically right on the 50 midline here. So a fall below that level coupled with a fall below our supportive 21 day EMA, that could be another piece of evidence that suggests potential trend change here. So uh, if we were to recover and move to the upside, this white line here, our boundary is pretty close to this set of previous highs here near 264. So between like 260 to 264 would be resistance. Support, as I mentioned, was our orange line, our 63-day EMA, and our trend line, and ultimately these lows near 195. All right. So it looks like Coinbase here is kind of uh, at a moment, not quite yet where it's got to pick a direction, but it is kind of getting squeezed into this triangle a bit, and it kind of fits with Bitcoin, too, because Bitcoin has tried to break out many times. It's failed, and now it's sitting kind of uh, in this uh, precarious spot. So the whole crypto, uh, it seems like, asset class is... Uh, kind of in a weird juncture at the moment uh, without a lot of obvious momentum. You got the uptrend, but then you kind of have this downtrend off the highs uh, for Coinbase.